and the takeover of the United States into the North American Union, how that ties in with the Kurt Nemo story today. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation gave millions to La Raza. We've also seen a serious military uh, escalation. Reuters is reporting North Korea has fired artillery near its sea border, very close to ships. And, of course, yesterday North Korea seized a South Korean uh, fishing boat that was in a disputed uh, territorial water area between North and South Korea. And also in the military section of news, uh, we're seeing more saber rattling by the United States and Israel threatening to attack Iran. And Iran is saber rattling back. I don't think that's a very good idea, but they're doing it. Iran vows to support Lebanon against Israeli aggression. Uh, so they're definitely heating up uh, on that front. And uh, Fidel Castro is warning that he's worried about nuclear conflagration. So we'll be breaking that down. But right now, let's get into the economic news stack today. This is from CNBC. We have all of this linked up at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. That's why I love the websites. They started out uh, 13 and a half years ago, Infowars.com did, so I could post links to reports and, and legislation and documents so that people would have a place while listening to the live radio show to go check out the claims I was making. And that's still the main reason we have Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, though it's uh, grown from there. Uh, we are in the equivalent of a Great Depression, strategist says. The midsummer rally is over and stocks will begin to downward leg before bottoming in October as the world economy is in what looks like a Great Depression. Robin Griffiths, a technical strategist at Casnova uh, Capital, told CNBC this morning. And this is what a lot of the other analysts are saying, looking at the similar charts from the 1920s and early 1930s. They say that it mirrors those charts, and that's what Bob Chapman, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, Gerald Salente, Webster Tarpley, and many other economists and experts we've had on have, have, have concurred with. Uh, equities are for losers and bond markets for winners. Equities are simply for people who like losing money. He went on to say a double dip is inevitable and imminent. Uh, as uh, Keynesian stimulus measures have never worked anywhere, we are in the equivalent of a Great Depression following three years of credit crisis, he added. But there will be some winners and uh, relative overperformers in the stock market. Yeah, the Federal Reserve insiders. Firms like Caterpillar will do well. America has some great companies, and CAT is one of them. I also like the German market. Yeah, they've blocked the pension fund rating, and they've also blocked... Uh, the brokerage firms coming in and rating the euro. Exports are doing well and will be further boosted by performance of the euro over the last 12 months. Uh, German exports rose by a higher than expected 3.8% in June. That's because their government protects their uh, domestic production, their manufacturing system. In June, following strong demand from across the world for German goods, according to data released Monday. I agree with that analysis. Here's another one from CNBC. Dollar will weaken. Three sectors will rule, strategists say. And they've got the job report. It's worse than what they even put out last week. Uh, they went on to say that they should look to technology, in energy, and industrial sectors. Continuing, Wall Street... Rewards to trigger surge in informants, and it reports how the stimulus bill uh, can pay up to million-dollar cash rewards to people that rat out their bosses for financial impropriety. But this will all be selectively enforced. I mean, uh, the Securities and Exchange Commission, as Fox News and AP reported in the last two weeks, as we reported in the last three months on the legislation with Ron Paul and others breaking it down uh, here on air, the Securities and Exchange Commission, when insiders expose Madoff or Goldman Sachs or J.P. Morgan or AIG engaged in out-and-out -out criminal activity, for decades the SEC covers it up. And it goes on, uh, new U.S. whistleblowing incentives within the Dodd-Frank Financial Reform Act that could net informants' multi-million dollar payouts are likely to generate a surge in allegations against U.S. listed companies and Wall Street banks. Yeah, the globalists are going to have whistleblower give, give them intel and then selectively go after their 
competition to consolidate things further. We'll be right back. You worry, but only because you're paying attention. What's happening in the Gulf of Mexico illustrates an audacity toward nature. A similar audacity called GMO or genetically modified organisms means that the quality of commercially grown food may be compromised with our health in the balance. Now that summer's here, what better time to learn about the bounty that nature provides in wild edible food? Let author Linda Runyon show you the best kept secret in plain sight that food is everywhere you look. This summer, for the cost of a good meal or two out, you can literally starvation-proof yourself and your loved ones against any future craziness and put up tons of free food, too. Whatever experiment is being run on us, you can rest assured that Linda's 50 or so staple foods aren't involved. Our foods are their enemy. So go to ofthefield.com or call toll-free 1-888-51-EAT-FREE and take that first step. Make your oasis of food security and nutrition now. That's O-F-T-H-E-F-I-E-L-D dot com or call 1-888-513-2837. Start now and make 2010 your year of independence. The economy is crumbling, debt soaring, and the possibility of World War III is increasing. I started survivalistseeds.com from my dining room table with a small bucket of seed and a single rotating banner ad on PrisonPlanet.com. Two years later, we've sold over 40,000 pounds of heirloom seeds, becoming the largest bulk seed seller to the public. The majority of our customers are Alex Jones listeners. Now I'm offering 50 all-organic garden varieties, 10,000 heirloom seeds, garden planner, and a CD teaching you how to save seeds so your children's children will always have healthy food. Don't wait until it's too late. I'm Big John Lipscomb, and my company is survivalistseeds.com. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American, covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237, and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. You've seen our Sinofresh banner on the GCN website. Yet your sinusitis is still a problem. Are you waiting for your sinusitis to go away by itself? Are you waiting for a Sinofresh discount? Okay, here it comes. But first, the facts. 67 other products merely treat symptoms and not the cause of sinus problems. And 37 million Americans suffer from sinus distress just like you. But now many are finding relief with the only patent-protected homeopathic nasal product that antiseptically eliminates the known causes of sinusitis. Sinofresh. Now here. Here's your limited time discount offer to use Sinofresh. Call 888-906-3636 right now for $2 off per bottle when you mention GCN. That's it. Just call 888-906-3636 and mention GCN for a $2 discount. But hurry, this offer is only for the first 1,000 customers. Call 888-906-3636. 888-906-3636. Call right now for $2 off per bottle. Mention GCN. Buy Sinofresh.com. It works. Continuing with the financial news, Wall Street rewards a trigger surge in informants. But we know the SEC, as part of the financial overhaul, got language written in where they cannot be reviewed and they can operate secretly. A private Federal Reserve board is being given full control over every facet of the economy to steal more. The very culprits of the massacre in the chicken coop, the weasels and the foxes, are now being hired to run guard duty on the chicken coop. 
uh, but they're going to sick the general population on other financial institutions, insurance companies, businesses, where the government can then selectively cherry pick who they want to go after. This is similar to the famous cases that are legion in drug cases where they have... Uh, in some cases, famous informants who testify in hundreds of drug trials and IRS trials where they just walk in and lie and the police and the prosecutors know they're lying. They don't care. And so this is part of the new financial terrorism against the general population. And the article goes on, the Securities and Exchange Commission is expecting a sharp increase in tip-offs from senior employees and third parties prompted by potential seven-figure bounties. The scale of the awards reflects the high quality of whistleblowers we hope for. People within a company, broker, or other related firm that we might not have heard from, Stephen Cohen said, in, including uh, different accounting firms and uh, law firms that you hire for taxes and CPAs. Isn't that just special? Four years ago, they changed the federal rules, not the law, but the rules where... CPAs are liable for the tax returns they file for you, and so they won't even give you the supposed tax write-offs that are in law. And now they're just going to be completely on the payroll uh, of the government. That reminds me of the 60-minute piece I saw more than a decade ago, and since then it's gotten more attention. Remember the famous case of a guy flying from Virginia to Houston? He'd done it many times. He would pay cash because he got a discount for the trees that would be hauled from Texas via 18-wheeler to Virginia. And he pulled out his wallet with a bank bag with tens of thousands of dollars and paid for his ticket with it. And the lady, it turned out, was making more money a year as a ticket teller tattling on people than she was making working as a uh, teller or a uh, airline ticket issuer. She was making over $100,000 a year on that. And uh, they said, look, it doesn't matter if it's his money. It doesn't matter if tax records show he paid taxes on the trees. It doesn't matter. You're not allowed to carry cash, and we're taking it. That's just like the reports you see constantly, usually in Texas for some reason, of small-town cops. They pull over an old lady. She opens her purse up to give him the license. They see 5000 in cash, and they say, that could be drug money. No judge, no jury. My money. Mine. Mine. Uh, this is the corrupt system. So spent too much time on that, but it's an interesting area uh, to discuss. Uh, meanwhile, CNBC reports Tyson's profits surge, beef and pork improve. And of course, they have a oligopoly here in the United States. And it's come out in major news reports, including USA Today, that they can have in some cases hundreds of times uh, the violations uh, in their plants than other companies, but they're allowed to do it, and nobody else is. Just like BP had many, many times in Houston alone, in Texas City, violations at their refineries, com more than all other refineries combined, that's okay. They get safety awards from Bush and Barack Hussein Obama. That's AKA, uh, of course, Barack Hussein Obama, Barry Sotero. So uh, all part of the monopoly, the monopoly men like Carlos Slim controlling the cell phone market. He just makes billions every year in Mexico because he has a, a quasi monopoly down there. That's where the big profits are made, as the founder of the Rockefeller dynasty said. Competition is a sin. Uh, continuing, the United States looking more and more like a third world country dealing with the economy. If you don't have reliable energy. They want to put massive taxes on coal that supplies 51% of our electricity. And uh, we build just, uh, what, two or three new power plants a year. Uh, China's building two or three a week. Uh, but uh, under the new carbon taxes, they would, new plants would not even be allowed. Uh, U.S. electricity blackout skyrocketing. CNN reports New York, Staten Island was broiling under life-threatening heat wave that brought President uh, James Molinaro I was seriously concerned about the area's uh, Little League baseball players. And it just goes on to mention uh, that they're having massive power outages that are intensifying uh, in the last few years across the United States. Uh, we'll come back with more financial news and military news. Then I want to get into the Rockefeller Foundation, along with Bill and Melinda Gates, funding the La Reconquista, La Invasora of Mecha and La Raza, fully funded by the U.S. government and the Pentagon. 
Yeah, we got a lot of enemies, folks, but we're going to defeat them. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 